Hi, Dave Soldano with American Photo Treks, and thank you for joining us on our Cottonwood Pass Milky Way workshop. Really enjoyed it, and we had just absolutely perfect conditions up there. Clear sky and not a lot of traffic and just beautiful Milky Way. It was really cool and just a great group. Everybody was so positive, and we really enjoyed having you guys there. And I promised you guys that I would send you a couple videos showing you just how easy blending some of these in, in, images are that we took that night. And that's this first one is I'm going to show you how to blend those light trails that Ken made when he so expertly drove around the uh, switchback up there. But uh, of course there was no one shot we could take that would get all of those light trails together. So now we have to blend them, and it is super, super easy. You're not going to believe how easy it is. So first of all, I'm in Adobe, Bri or, yeah, Adobe Bridge right now, which is what I use just to keep track of my images. And here's the first shot where Ken starts driving around the switchback. So I'm going to click on that to highlight it. Then I'm going to come to the last shot where he's done driving around it, hit Shift, click on that and you can see everything I do you can see the keystroke right there as I do it and that highlights them all now I'm just gonna come up and uh, select tools Photoshop and load files into Photoshop layers now I'm not gonna click this right now because it takes a little time for it to load and sometimes it crashes my video so I've already got that all loaded up into Photoshop so you can see but what you'll do is click load files into Photoshop layers and when you do, it's automatically going to load all the files together into one file in Photoshop. You see how that is? So here's the first one, and we'll shut that off. And there's the second one below it. And uh, you know what? I'm not going to use that one because I'm not going to use this one because it's so bright. So then there's the, uh, the next one, the next one, the next one next one and the next one and so they're all loaded up together there you go I'm gonna delete this layer we don't need it alright so here are all of my layers right there and then all I want to do now is highlight those layers I'm gonna select this top one hit shift select the bottom one and watch how easy this is all I do is go to this normal it, where it says normal right here that's the blending mode click on that and select lighten and like magic, it blended all of those images and merged all of those light trails together. Isn't that cool? How easy is that? How nice is that? Now all you have to do is say layer, flatten, and there is your image to start working with the post-process. And it's a nice, clean, look at how nice that is, uh, light trail around the switch back there. Just nice and perfect. Isn't that cool? And so now you can start. Now, of course, up here in the sky, it's been blended too, which makes it all murky and uh, uh, there. But that's um, that's quite all right because um, you're, we stacked our Milky Way images. So now we can take that stacked Milky Way and put it on top of this right here. Now I'm going to give you a little bonus um, idea right here in case you wanted to. Remember I told you, hey, uh, take an image around the blue hour after the sun's gone down but there's still light around and I said hey be sure and take some blue hour pictures and I'm going to show you why and so here's the blue hour picture I took where the um, the sun had went down but there was still plenty of light and so I'm going to take this image and hit um, I'm going to select all edit copy and I'm going to come over here to our light trail image and I'm going to hit control V which is going to make that a layer on top of our light trail image right here I'm now going to say shift and select them both so now I've selected both of these layers but it looked like maybe that my uh, tripod moved around a little bit so I'm going to come over here and hit edit auto align layers and that's going to align these two up and you can see yep sure enough it moved around so it had to um, move these just a little bit but that's okay because Photoshop's really good at lining this stuff up and once again I'm just going to come over here and say normal 
lighten, and now look what I have. Now I've got a layer here, uh, I've got an image here with all of this great detail and everything here that I can now say layer, flatten, and in this case I'm going to have to crop it a little bit to uh, um, get rid of these borders. And now I can start working on that as my foreground image for my Milky Way shot. And look at all this great detail in here. And of course, you can, uh, one of my favorite ways to bring down the exposure but still make it look nice and still make it look like a nice shot is this thing called gamma correction. You know, all you do is you open up your uh, adjustment and say exposure then bring down the gamma correction and it's a little like there we go darkens it up just a little bit and then you can bring down your exposure too and it can start looking like a night shot and you might have to darken the mountains a little bit here or whatever but now you've got a lot more detail everything's cleaner and you can really put together a really nice blend here so that's as easy as that is and uh, I hope you find it as easy as this uh, video showed you, and I de uh, definitely want to see your images. So definitely, uh, when you share them, if you wouldn't mind tagging at American Photo Treks, and that'll pop up on either Instagram or Facebook, just because I'd love to see your finished result. And uh, now, after this, then I'll do another quick video showing you how easy it is to create that panorama. All right? Bye-bye.